What up my freaks, Runas in sight here, welcoming you back to the Adventures of Khorasar Khan and part, uh, I want to say, 17-9, something along those lines, of my Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord Kuzet Khanet campaign. So as we saw last time, we have declared war on the Batanians, took some stuff, fought some battles, and then immediately our idiotic lords pieced out with them, but it is unfortunate, but since we are not at war with anybody else, this is going to be an episode where we not don't do anything. Uh, we are going to attack a village and we're going to immediately redeclare war on the Filthy Batanians and just continue killing them for as long as we possibly can. Now, between the episodes, apparently there was a patch or something along those lines because I did notice that our party is at 339 out of 384. Last time, and I did go back to my last episode, we were at 339 out of 339, so something changed here. Not entirely sure what that is. It might be some kind of changes to the way leadership works because this thing seems to have gotten reworked. Uh, oh, maybe, oh, maybe Leader of the Masses works now, and it didn't used to before. Uh, that's possible. And if it does, in fact, work now, it might be reasonable to actually try to get a few more towns for Corsaro himself, if we ever get offered the option to actually give it to Corsaro. Uh, I should have taken some more towns earlier on. Oh, well. Oh, well. Now, let's see what we got here. Uh, fervent attack or additional four morale at the beginning of the battle when you are attacking. I take it the other one's for defending. Double the right to recruiting prisoners. Oh, we are very much, uh... We like recruiting prisoners. Hmm. What tier one, two, and three versus double the rate of recruiting tier four, five, six prisoners. And eight morale at the beginning when you were defending. Now Okay, so the bandits that we want to mostly recruit are largely low tier. On the other hand, we do have yeah, it's really tough recruiting the level four, five, six. Now we don't also know whether this uh this ability actually works. But this sell, this says to me that what we should do is uh, we should go for doubling up on the ones that are difficult to recruit, even though it costs us a little bit of morale. I figure if we're defending, we're probably going to need the morale more than if we were to attack, which in which case we usually have the advantage anyway. So let's go for Stout Defender, mostly for the re recruitment. And see what we got here. Heroic Leader, plus one town loyalty per day. Troops in your formation cost 10% morale penalty when they kill an enemy in your formation. Uh, how does that work? Because we're never a formation. I feel like this will never work. I guess it's only for captain of a formation, it's not party leader. Okay. What about this? Party leader. Uh, disorganized state duration is reduced by 20%, so faster speed town garrison is 20% more effective for security. We don't really care about either of the governor traits. I guess we gotta go for authority. Even though heroic or leader sounds right, the formation thing will never do anything, I take it. Unless this somehow affects the whole army, but, uh... What are the odds that we're captain? I don't think we can lead a formation anyway. Nah, so let's just go authority. Plus, I imagine this is going to get reworked again and again and again. Let's see. Tier 3 plus troops under your command retreat. Ignore retreat due to low morale. Not implement. Oh, they're adding not implemented to things now. Beautiful. Well, now we know not to use that. <laughs> Famous commander. Personal, personal. Increased renown gain from battles. Don't care. Recruited troops, troops start with bonus experience. Oh, I like that. Oh, wait, but that's probably recruited troops, not prisoner troops, damn. But either way, since loyalty and honor doesn't work, there's no reason to get it. Alright, well, famous commander. Could have been a heroic leader and a famous commander, but it looks like they want us to do a little uh, W. W for work in progress, there we go. Let's go with that. Alrighty, and oh, you know, we do have to get some of our prisoners in here. Uh, let's upgrade this Keshig, and we need, what, like 40 prisoners? Uh, 330, 45, damn. Okay, well, let's begin. All the step bandits that we can take. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, let's take a raider. All these hillmen. All these brigands. And... Mamluk, Cav are... Yeah, okay, that's not what we want right now. The rest are not rare units. We still do have room for them, however. I guess we just recruit them and then just give them to our allies. All right. Recruit them for now. Let's get them with some XP, and then once we fill out our army, we'll uh, replace them. Like so. More cav. And more swords. Was that 40, 45? No, we still have room. Damn. Alrighty, well, next time our lords force us into a piece, what I'll do is I'll look around to get some more bandits, replace what we need. Oh, damn that. Al Alvar's army is not moving away from this place. Don't appreciate it. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Time for some... Uh, what were they called? Uh, some kind of action. Pillage this village. 
And hostile action, I think. At least the arm is still here. Alright, take a hostile action. Uh, I don't care, raid the village. Will cause war with High Kingdom of the Batanians. Why, yes. Yes, it will. Continue. And raiding. We're good. Let's attack. These people don't like us anymore, but who gives a damn? Uh, let's see. Thraktore. 68 defenders. We can just straight up attack this one. Uh, Skolder Bratva contracted to fight with the Batanians immediately. Let's just root Skolder Bratva. Let's just root. And let's attack. Besiege the castle. We're just gonna build, like, a ram and then attack. Uh, it's got, like... We, maybe we don't even... Nah, we can't go with the ladder. We gotta get at least the ram going. We don't need to knock the stuff down. In fact, wait, if we can just build a ramp... You know what, I maybe want to just straight up attack on ladders without uh, without waiting for the enemy catapult to build. Will the ram finish first? Banu Habab has joined the Batanians. Oh, how dare you. That's just rude. And, okay, we're gonna be good with the ramp, probably not good with the siege tower. Oh, look, they're they're lining up and around here. Maybe we'll be able to get one siege tower going. Uh, it'll be close, it'll be very close. Maybe our... Yes, our engineering benefits look like they will win this for us. Alright, let's uh, lead the assault. Honestly, I, I, ugh, I'm I, tempted to just send the troops this, but, you know, I don't want to lose elites like this, so let's just lead the assault. I gotta try it at one point, but not yet. With all the uh, with all the stuff they add, hopefully eventually they'll unfix the auto resolve. But uh, obviously, or did I, did I just say unfix or fix the auto resolve? I mean, it's better than it was. I remember when the game was just released and the auto resolve was incredibly screwy, and a few bandits could suddenly kill like a dozen of your like high highly elite troops. And you're like, what the hell's going on here? All right, uh, begin the assault. Everybody go, go, go. If we kill the ones that are up on the walls, since there's only 70 in there, and there's probably only like 20 of them spawning. Just kill the ones up on the uh, walls, and then there will be no threat, really. Like this guy. Ah. Down you go. Hey, guys. Where are you going? Ah, stop hiding. <laughs> Come on. Oh, this guy. Oh, how dare you. Rude. And I should probably tell the entire army to charge him, but I think... Really? That guy could hit us from here? Yeah, we, I don't think we could hit him back. Oh, oh, look at you. <laughs> oh, I could just, like, move the horse around in tiny little circles, and that might uh, work out for us. I'm not seeing any more enemies over here. And probably shouldn't take a dive off this hill, either. Nice little castle, though. Oh, there's the ram. Ah, ah, is that a crossbowman over there? I think it is. I can't see him anymore, though. Oh, Mr. Crossbow. Mm, you know what, everybody? Uh, Everyone! Everybody... Okay, I think three is charge. Nope. Uh, charge. Give him hell! Yeah, there we go. Oh, he died just as I... Okay. Everybody give him... Oh, what the hell? These guys were moving up with the ram. Oh. But now they're no longer. Uh, you know what? Maybe we... Maybe we undo that. Maybe we undo that. Soldiers! And... Oh, lag. <laughs> Wait, I swear F6 was delegate. Is delegation not in? Oh, what the hell? Did something change? Move to the position, follow me, advance, fall back, stop, retreat. That's move. Uh, F3. Toggle, delegate command on is now F4. I could have sworn it used to be F6. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Follow your sergeant! These guys are moving back to the ram. Hey, okay, I'm trying to figure this stuff out. The random guy up on the walls. Man. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go climb a, climb a ladder now. I don't like this new control scheme. Uh, not because it's new, but because you have to press two buttons instead to delegate now, compared to what we used to be able to press. That guy just had a really bad time. And down you go, fell. Why would he try to climb down this? Ah, okay. At least it wasn't a javelin. And... Okay, we are... Okay, you know what? You know what? Let's go up those ladders. Are these guys really not gonna go up the ladders? Is it not possible, or are they just stupid? I told them to delegate. They're doing nothing. Did they break ladders more than they were broken before? Like, 
I swear they used to go up those ladders. Okay, you know what? What if we tell them to charge now? Uh, instead of delegate. But Corsair probably can't do this all on his own. Uh, let's see. Zero and charge. Will you go up the ladders now? Well, you'll certainly la- oh. Wow, the left. Okay, okay. That's what happens when you order the entire horde to do things. Okay, now they're climbing. So delegation is screwed up, but uh, the charge sort of works. Minus the fact that they ignore the ram, and they all just bunch up like this, but... Alright, I'll take it. I'll certainly take it. And where are the enemies? Anybody up here? Ah, I see somebody. I need a flashlight. Medieval flashlight. Down you go. <laughs> Uh, that would be a torch. I'm thinking of a torch. <laughs> ah, alright. Or a lantern. Maybe one of those, like, uh... One of those covered... One of those covered, covered lamps that ships use to send signals. So that you can use it as a pseudo-flashlight. And have a minion carry it. Oh, damn it! <laughs> okay, well, we had barely any HP left anyway. But uh, this should be just about over. Look how long it's taking to take this damn castle. Uh, there's a bunch of enemies here. The idiots that are on the ram are... They abandoned the ram. Okay, so when I told them all to charge, they decided that everyone will go up this single set of ladders. What about this other side? Is there anybody on this side? I see sieges are still just absolutely terrible. We have, like... We have, what, 1,100 troops or something versus their, uh, versus their 60, and we can't get in those these walls? It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. You should be able to just surround it with ladders, and instead of, like, one guy charging by himself. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Help him out. Okay, there's, like, eight guys up here. I don't know what the rest of the team is doing. <laughs> yeah, they're not, they're not really, uh, getting in. All right, well, let's watch, let's see how, uh, see how these eight dudes hand handle themselves. Or maybe ten? Nine. Okay. Yeah. I can't count to ten. I guess you should be used to it by now. And down you go. Okay, these guys are teaming up. They're doing pretty good. Hey, don't let this guy run. Oh, there's two. Uh, they're, get, they're gonna get behind you and... What the hell? The rest of them run off? Where's the camera just screwy? <laughs> oh, that hillman is gonna die. We just lost the man with soldier in a higher bit. Oh, the hillman got knocked out and didn't die. We got more help coming in. Oh, they're trying to break the gate. Now they're trying to break the gate? Really, game? Really? <laughs> You had a ram there for the entire time. Yeah, we had completely unnecessary losses because of this nonsense. But it's actually good to do this once in a while just to see what stage the sieges are in, in my opinion. And uh, now we see that sieges are still horribly screwed up. And since the enemy doesn't actually have the, uh, has the good troops or the amount of troops it needs to properly defend, we won't suffer too massively. But we, I feel like we've lost like at least 10 to 15 guys already. Kill the rest of these guys, please. I probably should have just been careful with Corsair and done this myself, but uh, watching does allow us to learn. And knowledge is half the battle. <laughs> uh, I had to. Okay, uh, we done here. Azurai recruit just... Who had an Azurai recruit? I don't remember recruiting or stopping by any town in a long time. Oh, these guys haven't routed yet. Come on, come on. Let me shoot these guys. Nobody better die anymore. Is this one guy down to ouch? That looked very much painful. And Mr. Crossbowman. Oh, our camera. Ah, oh, damn it! I really hate how the camera is so screwy and it's difficult to look inside buildings. Come on! Yeah, I, I. Come on is basically what I'm saying to the damn camera. I want to see the last guy die. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So now, now it's over. We got, we got nine losses. Uh, how many out of Corsaro's army? Zero. Okay, so we're good. I did see some... Wait, who had the Hillman then? What the hell? Somebody had a Hillman? Oh, what a waste. Uh, prisoners. We can... T oh, we can't take the boost. All right. Nobody's rare, so we don't care. Unless we got some level ups out of this. Uh, go for Raider. Raider to Keshig. Fion to Fion Champion. How many Fion Champions are we at right now? Uh, where are they? They should be up higher. No, they are not up higher. Oh, right, we still have a ton of marksmen and palatine guards. Uh, still haven't replaced them all with rares yet. You are going to go to brigands, of course, and you are going to go to mar marauders? I think it's marauders. Uh, marauder through raider, yeah. That one should have been a little bit more obvious than it was. And, I mean, to me. Where are the champions? Oh, they're right here. There's 23 of them. That's, not, that's pretty good. 
That's pretty damn good. We'll take the Batanian Hero on as well, since we still need to recruit more units. And a few more extras. And nope, still can recruit. Alrighty, so this castle is ours. We're obviously going to immediately abandon it. Don't really care about the uh, garbage that is here. Our food's in a good place, but you know what? Maybe we sit here for a few turns. Uh, uh, see, the thing is, these armies are here and they can reclaim it on the one hand. On the other hand, the longer we spend here is the longer our idiot council has time to peace out with those guys again and they have a lot of territory that we have to uh that we have to go after so all right let's wait here for i don't know maybe a few turns game has been saved uh northern empire has declared war on vlandia uh, i don't really care about vlandia that much oh it's it's lagging again what the hell you know what happens if we leave the castle Huh, doesn't seem to lag as much there outside here anyway batanians and the vlandians have made peace oh well that's annoying you know what, maybe what we do is follow Uruk, and if we follow him, that should lead him away from this castle. Even if it doesn't have anybody in it. If we lead him away, hopefully nobody will take it. Yeah, just, just follow this guy until he reaches close to another Batanian territory. Owner of Thorios, everybody wants to give it to Nukar, and Nukar shall have it. Also this castle, who gives a damn? Uh, let's see, yes. Let's just swell, and where you going, buddy? Where you going, Tovir? Get him. Get Ah, yeah, good job. Good job, police force. Alright, the police force has taken care of that. Uh, well, let's see. Do we move on to Lageta? Will that join our territories? Not really. We still need to retake Jalmaris. But all these mountainous areas, I feel like we stay away from them. So uh, let's ignore those, and let's head to Lageta anyway. All right, we're still sharing our food. We should probably buy some food at some point, but we still got 61 days. Honestly, the next time we run into a few caravans, we'll just uh, we'll just talk to them and such. Regardless of the food sharing, we still need the army to siege all these places anyway. And done. We still have forest people, Malbert, and Brun. So everybody who we need is still in here. Ironically, what we could do is get a massive army with our other lords, but I'm, I'm hoping that they just police instead, because they're they're not competent enough to uh, take all these areas anyway. Legeta has only 367 defenders. Perfect. Okay, so this should be a relatively easy take. And let's see, we got some tournaments happening. Uh, we don't really give a damn about it. We're going to besiege this territory. Who does this belong to? Clan Kyrgyz. Oh, besiege. Absolutely besiege. They despise us. And let's see. 300 troops, but as we saw there, we clearly need to actually build uh, siege equipment. And I don't mean like towers and rams, I mean like trebuchets and stuff. Ah, <sighs> alright. Do it the slow way, that's fine. We have to take out all these catapults anyway. Let's see, uh, somebody's been taken prisoner. Daily gold change, so we're gaining 22k per turn. That's pretty damn good. That's pretty damn good. We can uh, hopefully buy off a couple more lords. Ah, Thraktoria Castle is besieged by Ozbeck. Uh, So if he takes it... You know what, if he takes it, I don't care. We're just going to start taking towns and leave the castles for now, maybe. Or at least let our, uh, our lords do more of this. Because... The thing is, even if they retake these places, they don't have a lot of defenders, so even our incompetent lords should be able to take at least a few of them back themselves. We can do the, like, the hard work of destroying the uh, major garrisons and then uh, letting them deal with it. I'm probably putting way too much faith in them, but... I'm just, I'm just sick of waiting around for, like, wars and, uh, and whatnot. 293, so they are... Wait, why, how did they drop? I swear they had 300-something. Huh, okay. Uh, somebody's being defended. Tarek, Kolig of the Forest People, Veron Castle. Where is that? I wish I could see it, but once again, we still can't zoom out. Hmm. Oh, it's right here. Oh, there's an enemy army attacking us with a pretty big... Ooh, hello. What do we got here? Wait, no, we have more troops than they do, so we should win that. Huh, okay, well you guys keep holding on. Damn, I really want to play in a defensive siege at some point. I think before the end of the game, i.e. before the end of this campaign, rather, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move the... Uh, move all the troops out of maybe a lot of people's armies and then just go into uh, go into a castle and force the enemy to attack it so I can def play defensively in a siege at least once. Because... 
Yeah, the game doesn't really force you into it, except really in the early game. And then, in, even in the early game, I never ran into a situation where I wanted to do that. I mean, I did want to, but I didn't want to uh, lose all our troops, you know what I mean? Uh, let's see. Oh, I almost pre pressed lead the assault. That's not what, not what we want here. Well, let's crack those catapults, crack those walls, and get into the ghetto. Oh, wow, the uh, this catapult took a lot of damage, or the onager did, rather. It's about to die. Yeah, there it goes. And the Batanians won in Verog? Is that what this is? Where's Verog? Yeah, Veron, rather. How did they win? What the hell? But we were defending. That's bizarre. That's really bizarre. Because the troops were about even, and we were on the defensive, as I recall. I'm going to go back over and uh, see the stats there. Maybe they were all recruits or something, but that uh, that does seem a little silly if that was the case. Oh well, we're st we still got to take it. Victoria Castle's under attack by Azanor. Okay, that doesn't make much sense. I guess it's just being relieved. Uh, let's just do that. Keep attacking Trebs. Stop hitting those walls. Break those catapults before they break you. Come on, Trebs. You got this. You're gonna pop soon. And Ospek of the Horde of Jagata has been taken... Uh, Hashan has been taken prison by Ospek. 283 defenders now. Catapult has been cracked. You'd think that these emplacements would get permanently broken. Like, I feel like you should see towers broken up as well. Uh, not just... Uh, not just walls after a long siege. Although, I guess it's a feature creep issue. There's so many things that are wanted, and they, they can't even really fix the talents properly. Alright, we're almost good. The last wall should be cracked any second now, which is when we will attack. And there we go. Walls will get to cracked, and let's lead the assault. Perfect. Oh, man, maybe I should have removed those uh, trebuchets, because we might get splattered by our own siege again. Oh, well, if it happens, it happens. Oh, huh, everybody lined up in a neat little line. Now I'm really glad their, uh, their stuff is gone, i.e. their catapults, because <laughs> if everybody's together like this, a few in a volleys would, uh, could be really bad. All right, well, these Corsairs full HP this time. Well, let's see how many defenders they got. Oh, I remember this one. I remember using, uh, Siege Towers. In this particular, I, I, come on! It's just a little bit of water, horse. I don't, I, I don't even know. Oh, there's actually a fifty. Ow, ow. Okay, we can't, we can't stay here, can we? There's too many on the walls. Actually, I was about to say there's too many on the walls, but I don't see any. Are we safe here? Can we just sit here and shoot enemies? We can. Oh no, we are still getting hit. Oh, really? Oh, this one guy. Oh, really, Corsaro? Come on, man. Why did I go so wide? Oh, this guy's gonna be hard to hit, too. Oh, come on. <laughs> really? Okay, we're gonna move away just to kill this guy. It's gonna be annoying. That was dumb. You know what I should have done? I should have just probably jumped over all of this. It sort of worked last time. Hey, and look, our, our troops are going in. Those guys aren't, though. I guess we need somebody to shoot, the, uh, shoot up the place. I, I just want to... Thank you. Let's kill the range units while we're here. Nobody else is going to do it for us. Down you go. And nobody's aiming for Corsaro, surprisingly enough, even though he's like the perfect target. The only guy on a horse, clearly the commander. Nobody's going for him. I guess it would be really annoying to play if the AI were to purposely target the player with uh, with all of the uh, with all the arrows, but I feel like that would happen if you were in this situation, so it would add to the realism in some ways. It would just be really annoying. There we go. Alright, well that that line broke fairly quickly. And oh their their defenders are all basically dead. Hired blade. Oh man, you should have you should have betrayed your uh number huh. <laughs> How annoying would it be if mercenaries could actually betray you? Not just leave your uh, your territory, but turn against you. Once again, it would add to the realism. Modders away. All right, I guess we're done here. Music is changing. Cheering is coming. Let's, uh, let's tab out. See what the damage is. Twenty troops dead, and zero in Corsaro's army. Perfect. That one worked out real well. Alright, what do we got in terms of prisoners? Anything we want to take here? Looters I don't really care about. 
Uh, Batanian Highborn Warrior, you are the guys that turn into stuff. So youths, highborns, and heroes. Take that. Don't up uh, hero, you can join. Uh Vlandian infantry, Vlandian crossbow, don't care about the raiders. Alright, let's upgrade some raiders, upgrade some five marauders, all go upgrade. Nice. Our uh our numbers of cons guard are going to rise massively with all this, with all these marauders and raiders that we have. Uh brigands, you are going to become highwaymen, right? Yeah, highwaymen to a banner, nice. No, definitely a lot of upgrades from that particular battle. Alright, step bandits to Rotters. And Hillman to Brigand. Go, there we go. Mercenary crossbows. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alrighty, that worked out. And some more units want to join us. How many can we take? We are at 377 out of 384. Okay. Uh, so, we could take. We could take all of these. Okay, beautiful. Perfect, perfect. We're actually running out of prisoners. Oh, we gotta get some uh, some better quality prisoners. Obviously, when we get more, we can give the uh, the extra units to our allies. But nonetheless, recruiting a solid amount of value. It's all garbage, but we'll take it anyway. There we go. Minus one hundred. That's what I like to see. You need to resolve the owner of Factore. Didn't Factore get taken again, or is it still under siege? Okay, Tover, you can have it for about six seconds as it uh, as it falls. There you are. And we are going to manage this place, though. Manage Town. I don't think we can leave it because Siege is here. Uh, manage Town. You are building garrison barracks and you're training militia. It's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. It can still have 10k. It's like half a day's worth of uh, of income, so we don't care about that. Now, we should take her Her or Hertogea. Retake Veron. Probably prevent Fractoria from getting taken, but we can't leave here. And I don't know where the hell the rest of our police force is. Lakem of the Jewel and Meritor. Okay, wait, I remember these names. Maybe it's just because we fought before, but uh, yeah, you're not the leader of this. And we're Lakems. Yeah, Lakems are the two Lakems, damn it. Ah, you are near what? Near Garen Golia today. Do we see Garen Golia here? I don't see Garen Golia. Which probably means this is the wrong Lakem. Unless it hasn't updated. And Garangoria Garangolia is just out of sight. Could that be the case? Do we bother chasing this guy down? Oh wait, no, he won't join us anyway. Because we have our three. Okay, so what? We can't leave this place. Even though it has three defenders now, it's probably starving. Oh, we should re uh, re up our cohesion here. There we are. Still three defenders. Hmm. It would be nice to be able to release some uh, some units. That's what I want for an army functionality. You should be able to give your, uh, especially your own parties, like individual orders. Like tell these guys to attack this guy and this guy, and then catch them with our main army. I think it's silly that you can't. Like, why does the army have to stay in one giant blob? Okay, you, uh, you won't join us. I just wanted to check, just in case. You never know. You never know what a patch will have added. Oh, hello, we got a caravan over here. Probably going to bring food to the newly conquered territory. But unfortunately, it's not going to because we're going to buy up said food. Unless it... Legeta is besieged. Are you nuts? You're... We're right here, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Sega? Okay, well, you can feel free to surrender and die. Uh, the other fight. 51 troops. I feel like we could send the troops for this. Well, let's see how much... Let's see what the damage is. Two dead. Nah, that's not too bad. Here. And let's see. Batanian Clan Warrior, Sturgeon, Harden Brigand. Okay, no, wait. Those are those are the troops I hate. Uh, and really, we only got two level ups out of that? Hmm. I would have expected more. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. They're dead. We'll take it all. Not gonna bother looking at what loot is there. But at least that's another enemy. Ooh, caravan. Uh, that's another enemy that's not near Legeta. Uh, you trading. Food, please. Grain. Grapes. You don't really have much else. And the rest is quite expensive. But it's not like we have, uh... Not like we have a shortage of cash here. There you go. Yeah, we'll just we'll just stop any uh, near caravans and let's go back to Veron. 
retake it. Threctore is still under siege. It'll most likely fall by the time we get. Whatever. Aaron Castle. Let's get to it. Oh, hey, Branock. You have a uh, big old army over here. Maybe it's quite catchable. 4.3 speed versus 3.7. Oh, hello. Look what we have. We have a little, uh, little army here. Who's the slowest? 4.6. Ah, we're still too slow compared to the rest of these guys. I think it's because we've gone over a thousand, or maybe Corsaro's party has grown a little bit more. Because we used to move above four, above four ourselves, even with like 900 troops, I feel. Although I could be wrong. But that's all right. We just need we just need for this place to survive a little bit longer, and then we can leave to the next uh, siege. That's why it's pointless to just disband the army because we're gonna need it. And I really don't want our uh, extra lords to leave as well. I'm almost tempted to get rid of Arian the Boar and Matunas the Falcon, and j and maybe even Madwan, and just keep the uh, just keep these guys. The only problem is they are the ones that have the most units that are uh, that are infantry style units. Oh wow, this place has like no defenders. One fifty eight. We move this place. Fight against the conspiracy. And is anybody on sieging Legeta? Oh, what the hell are these guys doing? Are they are they itching for a fight? They're like moving around Corsaro. Let's siege this place. Let's see if they attack us. The siege. Will they go for it? I would love it if they did. Yeah, everybody gather around. If they just gathered the uh, the vast majority of their troops around us, it'd be quite swell. 158 defenders. I know I'm... Uh, nah... I was about to say, we could just ram, use ram and uh, siege towers through it, but it's not going to work. We just saw how screwy all that is. Oh, hello, the police are here. Uh, 5.0. Oh, wow, they're like in a little train. That's adorable. Go catch those guys. What the hell are you guys doing? Maybe they were trying to form an army or something. Well, that's, uh, that's really beneficial to us now that they're... Except, why are these guys running past? After these guys. <laughs> oh, we might have to go over here and help this guy. If these guys join in... I'd rather get rid of, uh... Yeah, Branagh's gonna join. Okay, leave. Leave, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Owner of Legata, Tovir, Talos. I wish I remembered who has what. What do you guys have? You have Garantor Castle. You have... Two castles. You have... Tovir. Ubrovic. You guys have nothing. Because it's just Tovir. Okay, fine. You can you can have a... You can have whatever this is. Legata. Oh, that's a town. Ha. <laughs> Okay, well, you may be a clan of one, but you still get something good out of it. What happens if he dies of old age? I'm actually, I'd actually be really curious. Who does the castle then revert to? Alright, Chogor's tier is increased. Oh, hello. Doesn't that mean our party is also just increased in size as well? Oh, and that's the final tier because the uh, bar is gone. So we are now at 409. Damn. Yeah, maybe we don't need our uh, our guys following us around anymore. Well, minus the, uh, minus the mercenary lords, of course. Alrighty. Suddenly, there's like plus 60 troops. Uh, Highwayman, Eshik to Khansgard, Marauder to Raider. Highwayman to Vlani and Champ. Alright, looking good. Looking good. Let's join in on this, help these guys out so they don't die, and then move back to uh, Hertogea. And of course, we'll have to go all the way back here. Although, these things have like no defenders. Maybe we'll wait for these guys to do it. Oh, please don't die. Oh, what the hell? Why did they... Why did the armies explode? What happened there? That was weird. Surrender or die. Uh, healer fight. It's through the trees, like, so I kind of just want to... I want to try this out. I know it's 110. We probably could have sent the troops there. But... I'm interested. 110 shouldn't be a big deal. And everybody... Everyone. Shut up and dance. Uh, oh, damn, the new commands. So it's three, and then... Ah, oh, three, and then four. Sergeants in charge. There we go. I pro Oh, you know what? Might have been a bad idea to delegate on this map. This map is like one of the worst places to delegate. Uh, you know what? Footmen! Footmen go here. Forward! And... Infantry! Cav, we're gonna, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, they're, they're setting up Cavalry, on that side. Cav, go here, Cav, go here. Don't, don't charge, don't be maniacs. Force archers, here. 
Oh, they're charging across this little bridge with their own cab. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, look at them walking across the bridge. It's adorable. Yeah, we're gonna re-delegate them as soon as they're halfway across. Why would you do this? Why would these maniacs do this? They could have held the other side of the bridge much easier than this. Oh, and our own archers are moving forward. Okay, everybody. Uh, F3, F... Take over command. There we go. Charge, do your thing. Don't screw it up. Orsaro, you don't have to do anything. Just Let's just watch these guys die. Oh, I love this bridge. For oh, oh, I just knocked one of our own Palatine cards down. <laughs> Like that. Oh, I actually heard him and then he got killed, I think. Whoops. My bad. What I get for shooting right into the uh, press there. Oh well. Oh uh, well, this battle is obviously over. A couple cabs still moving around. Uh, I kind of don't want to shoot and kill <laughs> one of our own troops again. Uh, Alright. Oh, this guy had a javelin. This guy has a javelin. Hey! Can't survive that. Fields of these guys should be done. Yeah. We done here? Not seeing anybody else, just our own troops. Nobody stopped it out. Music just changed. Enemies are fleeing. I'm not gonna chase them down. There's what? Oh, they're all dead. They're all dead. We got some renown and influence, but now we don't give a damn about renown anymore because our clan is maxed here. I wonder what else we got other than the uh, increase in party size. Was there anything else? Well, you are at our mercy. You are a prisoner. Let's not have you make a new army. We got prisoners out of this as well. We'll take the Vlandian. You know what? Yeah, let's take some crossbows because we're starting to run out of troops. Uh, Vlandian light cab. You don't turn into anything good. Now you just turn to Vanguard. Screw that. Anything else here? Light cab. Vulgier. Ah, Kuz Kara Kuz uh. And again, the Kara Kuzade aren't that great. I'll take the Kuzade horse archer. Really too bad we can't recruit those uh, heavy lancers. You know what? There should be a talent or a perk or whatever that allows you to recruit level 5s as well as level 4s. That'd be nice. Freebooters, you turn to Fion Champion. So we'll take you. And I guess nobody else. Man. Feels wasteful. Oh well. Ting and Fion, Force Bandit, Keshig to Khan's Guard, and Brigand to Highwaymen, and Mercenary Guard to. Go oh, Swordsman, since we did two of the others last time. Highborn Warrior, join up. Take it all. Done. Alrighty, and this army's still at- oh, it's still in a fight. Okay, well, we can help them out, because we can't have these guys die. Uh, help Ekrum's party. 61 versus 1213, I think we can just send the troops there. One dead. Yeah, that's fine. That's just fine. Where's Corsair's party? It wasn't one- it was one from our party, and it was a Keshig! Damn! How the hell did you manage that? Oh, this guy hates us. Did you look at all these smiles. Yeah, wait, plus 100? Oh, this guy loves us. Oh, right. oh, did they fix the smiling thing? I remember before they used to smile at you when they despised you. Huh, okay. Uh, anything good here? Doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Done. Well, at least we were super helpful. Hey, we got a free horse. Alright, so we're done here. Uh, I guess we'll go and retake her Togea, but I think that's going to have to be next time because we're basically out of time here. But these guys should be able to police stuff. Is that a gigantic Vlandian army? Yeah, it is. And they pieced out. So yeah, I'm hoping that these guys in their weird little train here are going to go proceed over here. But the thing is, if we retake this first, I think that's not too bad because once Jilmaris is taken and then this place... It's sort of taken all of these interior territories, and then we can focus on this one blob all together, and damn, it's a lot. Alright, anyway, I am going to call this episode here. We'll retake her again next time. As long as we keep destroying these armies like this, the enemy will slowly fall to attrition. They are going to lose Jelmaris uh, to our own minions, and we've already taken Legato, so that's two towns that have fallen. And then that's the anchor points in this area. The, the rest of these castles should fall quick, especially as two of them are going to be retakes and aren't going to take very long. And then we will have their uh, main territories to focus on. We'll just have to decide whether we want to move through this area. Or we'll go, just go straight in there. Wink. But that's a problem for next time. So with that said, as always, I do appreciate any and all feedback with regards to the gameplay or the way I do things on this channel. If you have a second, please do take it to leave a like and write comment to support the channel. It really does help. As always, all glory to the algorithm. And thanks for watching.